how exactly did you go about, you know, readapting like your mindset? Prior to you, I didn't think it was possible, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know, to readapt my mindset, to aim for the goal, to set it and to hit it. And I had one of those moments, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm that guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that week taught taught me a lot. It just taught me a lot of a lot of that discipline, man. It really did. I learned a lot about myself. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to hit this goal, trying to hit this challenge. Like you learn a lot about yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be completely honest. A lot of times I failed. Okay. A lot of times I sat down and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. Like I'm not making enough. I'm not doing enough. I don't want to do it today. And I I caught myself for a good two days, like. I'm not going outside of drive. I'm bored. I don't want to do that. And then I just sat back like, what's going on with you? Are you going to work? Why are you going to work? I was acting like a driver. I need to act like a chauffeur. So I started wearing this suit. Like I just started just putting dressy clothes on and I realized my tips went up. I was there. You know what I'm saying? You, like I said, sometimes you you limit yourself unconsciously. unconsciously. Right, right. Me personally, I set a lot of limitations on myself, bro. Like, I would wake up the day, think about my schedule, and revolve it around uh, watching a game. Talk about prior, prior weeks, but watching a basketball game. You know what I'm saying? In the afternoon, you feel what I'm saying? So, I had to switch to my mentality. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and when you start, when you when you begin to do that, your perspective changes. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't think it was possible, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had YouTubed a lot of videos on, like, prior to driving, when I first started driving, but I always found, like, the nerves, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube. Like, Mm -hmm. some people look at, how can I make money? Some people look at it as, I want to be a nerd. Uh, It was a couple of things. Uh, Well, first of all, the energy, like, after the panel, just being on there with the crew, like, that was enough inspiration alone, you know what I'm saying? That That motivated me within itself. See you like filming, waking up, it's 5:30 in the morning, like some boy speed going down to the car, like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to see that, bro. Like, I don't know what it was. That was important, like it was important for me to see that. Talk about you know, like the ways that you, you know, like pretty much like levitated from you know working like a nine to five. Um, happier, way happier, independent, feel happy. <laughs> I can't even like the feeling is very unique. You have to try it to understand it. Great, great moment. Definitely, uh, my, uh, you know, a milestone for me. Accomplished for sure. You know, I was happy. Telling my girlfriend about it. You know, we, we celebrated. Just, just happy, man. Just very, very happy for sure. Yeah, it felt really good to have that freedom to be able to go eat whenever I want to. You know, and if I if I treat it right, if I respect it right, it's going to do good by me because I got all these opportunities, you know. The main thing is freedom. Being in control of your time, like to me, that that's there's nothing above that. You know what I'm saying? So just having flexibility and being able to work like when I want to work on my time, like that's second to none. I I wanted a certain life for myself and chased it, and I'm the only one that could tear this down, and I'm not tearing it down.